Dolls, this is what a fat girl eats in a day. Play for breakfast, I had coffee. I had coffee and another coffee and another coffee. I had three, I won't lie to you. Then I had a Coke Zero. Was hanging this day, so I just needed the liquids. And I had an iced caramel latte. I had so much coffee, I won't lie. Then I went to GBK and I had these halloumi fry thing, a peach and a passion fruit and vanilla drink. Then I had a satay chicken grilled burger. It was so nice. I got it all over myself. I'm always a mess, like seriously. Then I had the black garlic tater tots. These were gorgeous. I love them. Oh my God, banging. Working night shifts when I got in, so I had a snack, so I had some hummus, pit of breads and some peri peri sauce with a little bit of olives lovely anyway follow me for more what i eat in a day as a 210 pound girly that's trying to eat healthy so i first had this huge salad with hummus and it's like freaking huge and that would fill me up for like until like three o'clock honestly and i put some lime because salad needs lime i don't care and then i had some of this healthy stuff i got at costco honestly i don't know why i got this the lady at the, the freaking free samples table got me, y'all. Yeah, so it was a waste of money, but I'm gonna use it. And then I had it fit. Lately, I've had a hard time wanting to make any of these videos. I've got this zit on my chin that's really annoying. And oh yeah, there's an act of genocide going on in the world. It feels kind of frivolous to make a video like this. But then I think, why do I do these in the first place? It's because I want to make connection. I want to represent a different kind of person that maybe you don't see doing fashion, doing style. I'm just a cisgendered white man, but being fat kind of does give me a little bit of an insight into being marginalized and being oppressed in a small way, don't get me wrong. So in my own way, I kind of want to come on here and say the things that society tells you, the way that you're treated, it's wrong. And hopefully at least one person seeing and acknowledging that makes a difference in your day. We're fat guys. We always have a beard because we hide the double chin. Fuck you, bitch. We're fat guys. We always wear a hoodie so we can look skinny. We're fat guys. We're always going to make fun of that fat guy that's fatter than us just to feel better about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> We're fat guys. And are you going to finish it? Are you going to eat it? Finish it? Eat it? Fucking fat ass here. Just have it, bro. Oh, yeah. We're fat guys. We still keep our old clothes, hoping it one day fit, but it'll never fit because we're <laughs> fat as fuck. <laughs> we're fat guys. We buy oversized t-shirts so they could fit us like regular t-shirts. <laughs> That's you, <laughs> damn. <laughs> we're fat guys. We're always asked why girls never want to hit us up, but we'll never talk to a fat bitch. <laughs> it do not matter. It do not matter. It do not matter. It do not matter. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. He thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. But it's not good. Oh, yeah. He said, do milk. What else show drop?
I think you're fat. Yeah. That's it's it. just my opinion. <laughs> I'm not bullying that's you. Fair, I'm just yeah. giving you a I think you're ugly. I think you're fat. I think you're... I'll be popping bottles. Sparkles in Jermaine. VIP my section royalty looking. Look at you cleaning the toilet today, doing hard things. That's my hard thing today, cleaning my bathroom. If you can't stand and do this like this, you can always do this. Sit down like this and get your brush and clean it. And you have your rag right there and all your cleaning stuff. And you can get in here really good. So there's no excuses, guys. 730 pounds to 457. Yes, I'm morbidly obese and I keep my house clean. I'm doing more and more every day. This is one of my hard things today. Let's keep doing hard things, guys. People doing things, but -na, na na Fat people doing things. I feel. really is in here it should not be this hard to put on jeans it's sick that phobia confirmed why are you in a day as someone who's currently classed as morbidly obese by the nhs and needs to lose some weight so i started off my day with a bacon sandwich because that's literally all i had left in the fridge and then rooted around in the freezer found some onion rings so I had those with some char grilled veg which had sausages mixed into it and some corn on the cob and then i had an afternoon snack of some grapes which were delicious because they were all we had in the fridge before the food shop did the food shop came home and split this katsu sushi with lee and dinner was vegan kievs veg and homemade chips and that was everything National health crisis, childhood obesity, the number of obese children has tripled in this country since the 1980s, but few kids are confronting the weight problem that Jessica Leonard faced. At the age of eight, this little girl weighed more than 400 pounds, making her the heaviest kid in the world. Now there are some big changes in her life. You are looking at video of the heaviest child in the world. Eight-year-old Jessica Leonard was morbidly obese at 420 pounds. She ate constantly. Her legs couldn't support her and bowed under her massive frame. She was forced to roll on the floor to get around. So how did she get so heavy? Her mom, Carolyn, stockpiled the fridge and cupboards in their home outside Knoxville. When Jessica didn't get the food she wanted, she threw a tantrum. You she wanted to eat like every two hours. Carolyn didn't realize that excessive eating was putting her daughter's life dangerously at risk. I could have let her eat herself to death. Jessica was having trouble breathing when she was rushed to East Tennessee Children's Hospital in critical condition. You know, all parents make mistakes. There's no perfect parents. But I made mistakes that could cost my child her life. And I have major guilt. Child Protective Services got involved and Jessica was transferred to an obesity clinic in Virginia. There she was put on a strict diet and exercise program. Look at her now. It is an amazing transformation. She lost a whopping 320 pounds without surgery. Very proud of her. Jessica does need surgery to remove 20 pounds of loose skin. Kind of nervous. And she still fights the urge to snack. Hand it over. I'm addicted to food. Her mom reminds her of the rules of the house. You're not allowed to have food in between meals, and you're not allowed to have snacks without permission. Jessica's mom was ordered to parenting classes and now monitors her diet carefully. Remember that fridge full of food? 
Nothing. On trips to the supermarket, the groceries now are all low calorie. Are only 45 calories? No. And Jessica attends physical therapy five times a week. Now, for the first time in her life, Jessica is attending public school. The once heaviest little girl in the world is finally free to enjoy life. For the first time, she has a chance at a real life to be a normal child. That broke Jessica away to very normal.